This is how to deadlift without hurting your back. And today the fault that I wanna talk about is rounding your back at the bottom. So if I'm coming down, I can't decide which way I wanna go. Let's go this way. So if I'm bending over and I'm setting up for my deadlift here at the bottom, sometimes I don't wanna load my hips, so I'll bend my back more like this. So that way I don't have to stretch these muscles that don't like to get stretched. I can just stretch my back, which loves to get stretched because it always hurts, right? <laughs> uh, we can talk about stretching some other day. I don't really think it's doing what you think it's doing, but we're gonna come on down here and sometimes we'll lose our back position. This is really common in very new lifters, total beginners, people who have never touched a weight before in their life and they're just trying to you know, figure out how to get healthy, how to stay healthy. And we gotta keep in mind these people, they might eventually think deadlifting is cool, but right now they don't give a shit at all. So we don't have to worry about it so much. We don't have to load it necessarily. We can just say, hey, this is a pattern that's gonna help you keep your back healthy for longer, right? As I'm bending over, you know, I pick up things all the time. So I wanna teach you how to pick up things safely so you don't have one of those debilitating back issues that you have later on. And I'm gonna tell you, even learning how to deadlift, you're not necessarily gonna prevent that from happening forever, but you do increase the likelihood that you're gonna feel better for longer and you're gonna be a little bit safer with it. So if I'm deadlifting here at the bottom and I don't have all my motion, generally what I'm doing is I'm saying, okay, you come over here, you stand right there. I'm gonna stand, <laughs> you stand where I was, I'm gonna stand where you were. This is you. See how my back is really round? Okay, I want you to stick that out. And that's it, that's the cue, that's all of it. This lets them get a visual representation of what's going on and um, kind of teaches them what I mean by keeping a flat back while they're bending over, okay? Your back is rounding, I wanted to say flat. Not arch too much, just somewhere in the middle, right? Try to find that spot. That's usually gonna fix this cue. I don't think we need to talk about much else. If you are rounding at the bottom, one other thing I might say is stick your butt out a little bit more and if that doesn't work, or if that's not enough, I might say, take your hands, let go of the weight, take your hands and reach forward towards the wall in front of you. It's really hard to keep your back rounded <laughs> and reach forward, unless uh, you're just kind of a wimp. <laughs> this just seems so pathetic. And then I'll say, no, reach forward, all the way forward. Okay, yeah, yeah, okay. What that does is it elongates the whole body and it gets that straightness that you're looking for. It gets that rigidity that you're looking for. So if you have someone who's rounding their back or maybe you're rounding your back when you're learning your deadlift, uh, try reaching. Most of all though, just film yourself. If you're alone, film yourself and watch the video. And if you look like you're rounded, just say, okay, let's try to stick my butt out a little bit more. Simple as that.